أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. A brother has asked me a question regarding uh, can a Muslim man in Canada marry a woman from Christian or Jewish faith? In the Holy Quran there is a surah it's called Surah Al-Ma'idah and in Surah Al-Ma'idah there is verse number 5. In that verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allowed two things from the people of the book. One is the, the meal, that uh, we can eat a meal from the uh, followers of the Christian or Jewish faith, and they can eat the meal uh, from the Muslim families. In the same verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also allowed Muslim men only, not women, Muslim men, that they can marry a Christian or Jewish woman, people of the book. Um, in Islam, Muslim women cannot marry anybody except Muslim men. That's the law in Islam. Muslim men are allowed to marry a Muslim woman. Of course, that is a preferred choice. But in certain situation, if they need to marry a Christian or Jewish woman, then they, they are allowed in the Holy Quran. However, Every verse in the Quran has a certain context and certain reasons. Quran was revealed to Rasulullah, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, 14 centuries ago, and it is forever. Every verse in the Quran is until the judgment day, and it is final guidance. Yes, we know it is a Muslim man can marry a Christian or Jewish woman, but however, there were conditions, because in the same Quran, Allah Taala says, Almighty God says. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu qu anfusakum wa ahlikum nara. O believers, save yourself and your family from the fire of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from the hell of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it means it is the it is the obligation on the head of the family, whether it's a man or woman or both, to save them themselves. From the wrath of Allah, and they have to save their children from the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in Canada also, our broader Western world, whether United States, Europe, Australia, Canada, the society is very different than the society used to be 100 years ago, 300 years ago, 1000 years ago, 14 centuries ago. Now in these situations, uh, in the family also, in the family, it is not just the man who leads the family, it is the woman also leads the family. And men and women both have equal rights on their children. There is no dominance of men in the family in Canada, I'm talking. In Islam, is a different thing. In Islam, man is the head of the family because it's not because of his gender, no. It is because of responsibilities. Man is has an obligation to bring the bread on the table, to pay the mortgage, to pay the bill, to fulfill the needs of the family, to work hard, to have a bigger heart, have more patience, more sacrifice, more tolerance, and, and take care of the family. Responsibilities are more. But in Canada, Government of Canada, laws of Canada don't care. As long as the family is paying their bills, that's fine. Whether it's a man paying or women paying. But we cannot force each other. That's also the law. So when a Muslim man marries to a Christian woman or Jewish woman, Muslim man has no right to force the children when they are born to become Muslim, to remain Muslim. No. Women can put them, can ask them, force them, to come to her religion and men can force them or ask them to, be, to, to, to become Muslim. So what happens? This struggle goes on. When the struggle goes on, the children neither remain Christian nor Muslim nor Jewish. They become atheists. Or if, if in the family the woman is dominant, of course there, there are many families where women are very dominant, then she, if she is Christian, then she takes it, uh, children, she influences the children and ch children remain Christian. And I've seen quite a few families in Canada 
that their children, although husband was Muslim, but children was raised as Christian. So when this is the situation, then husband will be answering to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that why he was not able to raise kids as a Muslim. So, so since this society is very different and the children cannot be forced to be Muslim in the marriage between Christian or Muslim or Muslim or Jewish men or uh, women. So therefore it is, it is highly suggested by all these scholars of Islam that you stick to your own faith people. Muslim men should marry the Muslim woman. So you don't have that conflict which emerges later on. If you are secular, you are not very much practicing Muslim, then it's up to you. Because as a Muslim, we believe that there is life after death. And in the next life, we are accountable for our actions, for our responsibilities uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you, you cannot use an excuse, oh Allah, I did not have the control on my children because I live in Canada. That is not an excuse for Allah. You have to raise your kids as Muslims. And you cannot do this thing in Canada by force. So therefore, it is, it is, it is not suggested, although it is permissible, but it is, it is very uh, difficult path for, for the men to keep the children on Islam. Second point is, that we think in Canada, uh, every person look like Christian is a Christian. Is that's not necessary. On average, almost 35 to 40 percent Canadians have no faith. So somebody look like Christian have a Christian name. Not necessarily that person is Christian. So uh, so you cannot marry an atheist. According to Islam, men cannot marry. If man is allowed. To marry a Christian or Jewish woman, and Muslim woman is not allowed to marry anybody except Muslim. But a Muslim man just see the language or appearance and think that this person is Christian, has a Christian name. That person does not believe in anything. So you have to either ask that person to become Muslim, then you can marry. But without this uh, sort of an agreement or understanding, a Muslim man cannot, cannot marry to that other woman who may not be a Christian but look like a Christian, have a Christian name. And if you marry a Christian woman, then make sure that you raise your kids as Muslim, which is legally you cannot force it. Otherwise you will be in big trouble. And then I have seen a lot of marriages end up on divorce. Because when you are young, when we are young, we are not as strongly bonded with faith whether Christian, Jewish or, or Muslim. But as we get older and older, our bond with religion gets stronger and stronger. And later on, the problem emerges in the family. There's always debate going on, argument going on, and children get fed up with the religion. They just leave the religion. They said, okay, religion divides family, creates animosity. I don't want to be following any religion. So you are producing children, and those children are neither Christian nor Jews or nor Muslim and then you will be answering to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if they are not Muslim still you will be answering to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that's why it is highly strongly recommended by scholars of all denominations of Islam all scholars of Islam that you marry a Muslim woman it is safer it is better it is good for the family may Allah guide us all wa sallallahu ta'ala على حبيبه محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين